Hello, hello and welcome back to the channel. And today we're going to talk about that secret tool that real doesn't want you to use. Now, it's not really like that. It's just Epic sometimes is really bad at advertising the coolest thing about the engine. Um, so um, to, you know, to showcase that, I'm also going to showcase just a little tad of this new PCGs. There are great, bless them. You know, if if you you know load them into your um into your um scene and you you know intersect them with your uh, landscape, they are going to be wonderful. You can duplicate them, and you're going to have a different distribution every time around. And you know everything is going to have a good contact with the you know with the landscape. They are cool. They are undoubtedly undoubtedly. Blue. Uh, very, very, very good. Uh, but the thing is that, you know, I love them in this, you know, small shape. Because when you grab them and you set them, you know, big enough, then, you know, most of that organicity is a little bit lost. Maybe I don't know how to play with them, you know, uh, on a professional way. Uh, and I'm, I'm, be I'm betting that this thing, you know, it's a lot better than what I can do with them. But, yeah, I truly love them, you know, in this little package, right? So you can have, you know, a, a couple of rocks that you can distribute artistically, you know, having a lot of artist control is very important, right? Uh, but then um, how to do it, you know, because it's, it's tedious, right? Going through this thing and, you know, uh, trying to make them spread around in your level, it might take a while, right? So that is where the secret, the very secret tool comes around, all right? And it's something like the foliage tool. And let me tell you, the foliage tool won't work with blueprints, right? Um, so it, it just worked with uh, foliage assets. And that's a thing, right? But uh, there is a placement mode. And it, I don't know if you knew, knew about this one, but it's pretty amazing. It's almost the same, you know, as the foliage tool. Uh, you have a couple of tools. You have all the placement, alignment, you know, size, uh, randomization, and, you know, almost everything that you would find with a foliage tool. But in this case, you can spread around or, you know, scatter around uh, blueprints and um, static meshes if you want, um, skeletal meshes, particles, and everything, sounds, whatever you want. And in this case, you can also spread around PCGs and it will have this mirror content browser selection um, and it's pretty awesome because, you know, you can simply select something from your outliner and that is the thing that is going to be right there for you to start painting around, right? Um, so if uh, one thing is that it's going to create like one actor per instance right here and that is cool until you start seeing, you know, your content browser exploding, right? So one way of, you know, fixing that uh, is pretty easy. Let me just, you know, go back and let me turn off my placement mode and um, I can go here and create a new folder and I can right click on that folder and make it current. So now if I go back to my placement and I start, you know, uh, painting with those um, PCGs like that, uh, they are all going to be contained into that folder, which is also amazing about 5.2, right? Uh, doing that kind of thing. So this is amazing, you know, each and every one of them will have their own distribution. And even, you know, after you set them uh, down, you can keep, you know, editing them. You know, that's also a magnificent thing, right? I can see that, you know, there are a little bit floating, all right? Uh, so I can grab, you know, this offset um, location and set it, you know, the maximum to be minus five. And the minimum, the maximum should be minus uh, 10, something like that. Oh, that's too much. Maybe minus uh, uh, 7, right? Now there are a little bit more settled down inside the landscape, right? And I can also, you know, make them rotate more than in C. It could be, you know, 360, 360, 360. Now there are more organic, right? There are, you know, pointing out of the, of the ground in different rotations. And even though there are, you know, 10 separate uh, rocks here, you can have a very, very nice distribution, this distribution of this thing. All right, but you know, enough is enough. 
how did you do that, right? That is the main question. Why this thing is not on by default, uh, as, as far as I know. But um, the way to get it is you're going to go to Edit, Plugins, and you're going to search for Placement. And it's this one right here, Asset Placement Editor Mode, Beta. And even though it's better, I don't know why it's not on by default, but yeah, that's, that's what it is. And you enable that. And the next time you, um, restart your engine, you're going to have a new placement mode for you to use and distribute. All right. So it has a huge synergy with PCGs and that's why I wanted to, you know, bring it, bring it, um, you know, about, so you know about it. But so you know, you can also distribute all kind of things with this. Um, I'm going to do it, you know, its own video explaining a little, bit, a little bit more about it, and also, you know, doing a little bit of, you know, uh, PCG right content because it's it's the new thing. Everybody wants to cover it, and I have a few, you know, grudges about it, and I will also compare it, you know, with the actual foliage and the procedural foliage, right? Um, so that is that. Oh, one last thing is if you want your, you know, PCG graph to be small, because, you know, by default, if you drag it and drop it, it will be like 25 by 25, 20. It's, it's a huge box, right? And sometimes that is not what you want to distribute. You want something, you know, a little bit smaller. Um, another tip is, you know, go to, uh, your project settings and you go down until you get to plugins. And in the plugin, plugin should be the PCG plugin. And this volume scale is the default that it will use when you drop it, right? Um, and I hate it to be so big, like 25 meters. I want a tiny, you know, one meter PCG. So this is like the only downside of using this method. And that is, you know, but that by default, you know, it, this is the default, right? You, uh, I tried to change it from the inside of the PCG and I couldn't add it all right. At least I don't know how to do it, but yeah, if you set it here, then every time you paint, there are going to be, um, by default, one meter volume, uh, boxes, right? Although, you know, with the minimum and maximum scale here, you can also, you know, change it a little bit, um, as you wish, but yeah, that's it. And right. That was three tips today. All right. Cool. So, um, take care and I love you all. And I see you on the next one.